What is up guys? This is Moon Killer here and I am back with some news. This is this is this is this is a big one right here, right? So uh I wanna start with the game that never dies. Dragon Ball Z Universe 2, okay? When is this game gonna die? When did it come out? 2016? Let's see, 2016, 2017. That's like uh, about uh, well, three years has been out, and and it's still going. It's still getting updated, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna get updated to 2019. You know, Xenoverse 2 is doing something that Xenoverse 1 should have done. No, 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 never mind. Xenoverse, there's no way for Xenoverse 1 to do this. Possibly, but so Xenoverse 1, they pretty much went from saying it's not gonna battle of gods, and then they updated for Resurrection F. And then he just had a bunch of Dragon Ball GT DLC, along with Toa and Mirror as, I think, the final DLC, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that was fine. The Xenoverse 2 won't stop, and that's because Dragon Ball won't stop. Like, as soon as something new comes out, the Xenoverse 2 is just on it, and that's great. The game has a long life. It's been building off of Dragon Ball Super. It has almost everyone that mattered on Dragon Ball Super. Like, it has character stuff. The Goku Black Arc. Universe 6 Tournament Art, Tournament of Power, and now, that's right people, we're getting characters from Dragon Ball Super Broly. We are getting Broly, the new Broly, who looks pretty cool, and is, has very brutal attacks. Uh, I hope he has some character interactions with the old Broly and Kefla. And we're getting Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta. Can, yo, can you get any better than that, man? These are the two newest characters that are on everyone's minds right now. Under the radar, these two characters right here. And wait, there's more! With those two, with Broly and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta, you get five new parallel quests, that's right. Five new par parallel quests related to the movie. Oh wait, there's more! Not only do you get the new Broly, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta, Five new parallel quests, but you get new costumes for your avatar. And wait, there's more! Not only we get Broly, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta, five new parallel quests, new costumes for your avatar, but you will also get the Tournament of Power Arena! Shit! That's crazy. And wait. THERE'S MORE! You'll be able to make your avatar a boss character on a crystal raid for other CACs to fight against. That's right, your custom created character will be an overpowered boss. You also get to play as boss characters who were never playable before. This includes Demon God Demigirl from Xenoverse 1, Mira's final form from this game, and Corrupted Fused Zamasu. And WAIT! THERE'S MORE! Not only will you be able to play as Broly, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta, get, be able to play through five new parallel quests, get new costumes for your avatar, unlock the Tournament of Power Arena, and be able to play as a boss character, as your CAC and other boss characters, but you will be able to snap photos during mid-battle. Sort of like Smash Bros. Let's be Smash Bros. when you pause with the snap photos. So yeah, you get to see different perspectives of the battlefield which is pretty neat uh fighters should do something like that and uh that's pretty much it guys uh xenoverse 2 is getting a pretty big fucking update and i'm actually happy i i'm actually more excited to play as broly than i am gogeta because you know it's just different it looks cool so next we have more news coming up that's right dragon ball xenoverse 2 isn't it yeah more some jump force news we have Asta from Black Clover coming to Jump Force. That's right. Asta joins the battle, wielding the power of the Demon Slayer. The Jet Black Magic Knight. Finally, the young Magic Knight with the power of the Five Leaf Clover, Grimoire, enters the world of Jump Force. That's right. Naruto is here. Now, uh, let's see. Not giving up is the cornerstone of my magic his nindo his ninja way all right asta a member of the black bulls who aims to one day become the wizard king a lack of giving in is just one of asta's unique weapons let's see oh look at that half his hair is black what's that about it's 
spoil that much, it's like we're some sort of demonic transformation. I knew it, I knew that sword was gonna give me some sort of demonic transformation. Watch the demon and that sword be the demon that they spoke of, that they talked about in the beginning of the so. Let's see. Transforming into Black Asta will allow you to make use of his ultimate attacks. Ultimate attack, a black meteorite. Alright, so he's half, he's black now, okay. Using a dual sword, oh crap, that's pretty cool, yeah. Using a dual sword battle style. Asta wields both rush down, both a rush down style demon slayer sword and the long distance style demon dweller sword. In a dual style that will constantly switch up how you overcome your enemies. Alright, so I do remember him having two swords in the show. I really watched some of the episodes. Uh, okay, Asta. That's not it. We got some cool screenshots. So here, you have Asta using his sword against Ichigo's more superior dual wielding Zangetsu swords, or his one Zangetsu sword. Uh, Ichigo's looking pretty dirty and musty there. You should probably clean that up. Uh, where's his grimoire? Is the grimoire floating around somewhere? Eh, whatever. We have a we have a shot of him slashing. All right, uh, nice nice graphics. He looks pretty cool, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Way more way more better than that Black Clover game that came out. Am I right? Next we have him in his demon form. We get a closer look at that red eye. His hat. He got some black venom shit going on in his face right there. He got a little snaggle tooth showing down right there. Half of his white hair is now black. He is surely a demon. I wonder if he's in control or he's gonna bug out like Naruto did when he unlocked the Nine Tail Fox. And one more, we have Asta cutting down Ichigo with his demonic power. So yeah, not only do we get Asta and Jump Force, we get Rengia Balrai. Yeah, oh, see, this is this is this is the problem right here. All right, so we have Ichigo, Rukia, and Sosuke Aizen in the game. All right. I know you want to complete the, um, complete the Soul Eager squad with Freddy, it's fine. But, uh, there's better characters you could have picked. I mean, come on, man. I don't see Yamcha in this game. You don't see Yamcha in this game now, do you? So why? I mean, alright. Let's be fair, Reggie did get his new Bankai, as you see here. Way more superior to his old one. His old one was just a fucking mess. But, uh, yeah, this one's interesting. You got that giant monkey arm with, uh, no skin on it, just phone. And yeah, that's Renji's 1,000 year blood war Renji. And this is closer to his, to his snake hand. That looks pretty, that's a nice screenshot. I'll, I'll, I'll give them that, it looks pretty cool. So yeah, we're getting Asta and Renji Abarai in Jump Force. But wait, there's more. Not only will we be getting Asta and Renji Abarai from Bleach, we will be getting Boa Hancock from One Piece again. A veteran from J Star's victory versus versus makes her return. So yeah, we're getting Boa Hancock and here's her with her love love beam that will turn you into stone. Oh, and wait, there's more. Not only are we getting Asta from Black Clover, Renji Abari from Bleach, and Boa Hancock from One Piece. But we are getting future trunks from Dragon Ball Z. Holy shit, I did not see this coming. Alright, it was already weird that cells in the game, but I was like, it is cool, but trunks? Wow. I'll be damned. Well, I guess this is a pretty cool choice. I was expecting Gohan, but this is pretty cool too. So look at Trunks in his glory. He looks he looks pretty cool. I mean his knuckles are a little dirty right there, but that's that's to be expected when you're in the heat of battle. And you wanna see something cool? Boom! Him in his Super Saiyan form. Look at that, his hands look a little crusty right there, but that's okay, look at that. Ew, uh, here's more, look at that, Togoro picked the wrong one. You should have stuck with Yusuke, Togoro, you're, you're, you're playing now, you're playing. This is not the fight you want, Togoro. This is not the fight you wanted, man, come on. And here we are with the burning attack from Future Trunks. So yeah, guys, uh, Future Trunks is coming to Jump Force, and those hands look very scary. Very, very scary, like one of those... Claymation stop motion movies. Very disturbing hands. But yeah, guys, that's that's uh that's all the news for now. Pretty cool, huh? We got a bunch of Xenoverse 2 content coming and a bunch of Jump Force content coming. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the new news update or the next news update that'll come soon.
I'll see you guys around. Peace. But wait! There's more! Not only will we be getting Asta from Black Clover, Renji Obarai from Bleach, Boa Hancock from One Piece, and Future Trunks from Dragon Ball Z, we will be getting Izuku Midoriya, aka Deku from My Hero Academia. That's right, he's finally here, finally revealed, just as I expected. Hair in the flesh, Izuku Midoriya. Hair looks a little bit nasty because of the Jump Force graphics, but we're gonna work it out. Don't worry. Looking like Mario gloves right there. Freckles on his face. Great transition to the Jump Force graphics. Just gotta get used to the hair. That can be easily managed. Bam! Look at that. Preparing for battle. His hair looks a little nastier right here. It looks slimy, but whatever. He looks greasy, but that's alright. It's a hero in the making, you know. Just gotta learn to not put so much baby oil on. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's on his eyes too. Very fucking shiny. Uh, very weird. It looks like he's made up fucking rubber or something. But, hero in the making. There he is. Let's see what we got. Oh, he's charging that smash. Look at that hand. I see that green electricity. He getting ready to punch someone in the face. Oh, who's he gonna punch? Oh, yeah. oh he's doing a little finger flick. That finger flick, he's like Tagoro times. Oh, oh shit, he might be stronger than Tagoro. Because could fucking Tagoro, when he flicks his thumb, it basically it's like bullets, it's like air bullets, it like goes right through your skull. But this dude is just some impact shit. But Tagoro shit is more concentrated, so. Eh, it's a good matchup. I'd like to see Midoriya fight Gong. I like to see him fight Gong, because they both have similar powers. Midoriya uses strength to amplify his moves, and, uh,. Gon uses none to amplify his moves, but Gon does it to an extent where he can literally turn himself into a fucking man. Uh, which I'm not up to, but I, I you know, you, you just can't avoid spoiling these days. But it's whatever. Izuku Midoriya, come in the jump, boys. Let's get this money. Let's go. So yeah, this is the real end of the video, alright? Goodbye. Good riddance.